in this video I'm going to show you how to use at another board I'm going to call this board as the PN532 NFC board the board look like this so the reason I call NFC board is because you can see there's a big NFC logo here and this board has got more connectors uh, than needed and we'll be interested in the first you know this connection lines in the center plus as these two switches the select 0 and select 1 the back of this board you see how to use the select 0 and uh, uh, setting 0 and settings 1 sorry so as you can see here for SPI the switch 0 should be L and switch 1 should be H and here if you this a white uh, small notch here if you move on the left side this is the low on the right side this is the high as well as uh, this as well so at present this board is set to low and high which is uh, for SPI and we already know in order to make a SPI connection we have to know the the four lines SCK MISO MOSI and uh, the chip select so at the back of this, um, if you turn this, you know you can see the legend of the pins are at the back. This pin that corresponds to this one is SCK. Below that, it looks it's a MISO MISO or the master in slave out. This is the MISO. But you can see just the first letter or the first two letter MI. Next is the MO. This is the MOSI and this one is the chip select so the first four pins here which corresponds to first four pins are used for SPA connection and you need the 5 volt power supply and the ground above that which corresponds to these two we are not using RST and IRQ in SPI however you know that we need IRQ in the I2C connection so you can buy this board from internet I bought this board more than two years ago so I just you know found a website which has got more information about this board and I'm going to show you next so I just find this uh, website this is uh, from itd.cc and as you can see here this is the board you know I'm using but I'm not very sure you know from where I bought this uh, board I've forgotten so if you scroll down you can see some of the information like you know what I just mentioned the back of the board like SCK MI MO NSS IRQ RST ground and this and they also have the, the settings here and looks like you know this board is uh, is popular among the Raspberry Pi community as you can see here and have a look at the switches so and there are some libraries I've seen this library um, the first one this is more or less you know the same library we are using so it is good to play with uh, these libraries if you want to do So this is how the connection is done. I have used uh, Arduino Uno here and the first point the yellow line this line is the SCK line connects to pin number 13 and the next is the the MISO MISO connects to pin number 12 and the green line here is uh, MOSI connects to pin number 11 and the chip select you know, as we did uh, for all other boards connectors the pin number 10 so we have got this first uh, four lines of connection and finally we have got the 5 volts and the ground I've also showed you how to connect you know uh, this RGB so this is uh, pretty straightforward so you know we have done this this is the fourth time we are doing in this uh, video series so it's a very simple uh, connection and also keep in mind the switches are here so you just have to make sure they're set to um, 
for one it's set to sorry the switch zero is set to low and that is uh, high so next i'm going to uh, take you to the arduino ide and uh, run our sample program so we have i've made the connection as you can see in the video and uh, as we did before the chip select is uh, pin number 10 and i don't need this line i need this where um, it creates you know the instances of this object so i'm going to before that make sure you have got the right board i'm using uno and it's connected to com4 i'm going to compile and i'm going to upload and in the output window yeah that's fine uh, we have seen this message a couple of times I'm just going to go through all these uh, cards we have been doing before so this is uh, classic 1k I got a uh, classic uh, 4k I got this uh, ultralight that's fine I got this ultralight C be careful ultralight C oh that's not a good thing ultra let's see oh yeah sorry it works ultra let's see works now as you just saw here ultra let somehow you have to be just you know you have to keep moving the position and see where exactly it's get detected so or you can let's try this again oh that's it looks like you know you have to test the board here okay let's try the other one ultra let's see yeah this is fine try the ntag 203 that's good I got ntag uh, 213 that's good I got uh, 216 that's fine 213 that's a, it's a paper sticker and I got uh, 212 that's fine and try the key fob that's good as well plus finally let's see if dust fire works oh dust fire works as well okay so all the tags works and that's how you know you saw uh, it works with the SPI so next I'm going to show you how to make connections using uh, this I2C so on the back of the board you can see that these two pins the STA we need STA and SCL plus we also need the interrupt the IRQ and the the switch setting must have the setting zero sorry the first switch to high and other one is low this is more right and this left so I have made the connection here so as you can see the first thing is the switch setting here I got uh, it set to high and this is set to low and the STA the, the A4 the blue line here connects to the STA pin here and the next line connects to A5 which is uh, SCL of the I2C and we also need the IRQ for this library which we have been using the pin number 2 here so that connects to IRQ and we still keep the same 5 volts and uh, the ground line so we're going to go back to uh, Arduino IDE and see that this connection works so like we did before I'm going to comment out and uncomment the line we need for the I2C and everything you know is the same the default values so I'm going to compile and I'm going to upload and run yeah uh, you can see that the message shows uh, the firmware version so that indicates uh, it's working all right just give a try with the few tags I don't want to try everything again let's uh, more interested in trying the ultralight uh, ultralight C yeah okay it works so we just saw that it works with the I2C connection as well